going to talk about the characteristic equation. So recall, a scalar lambda is called an eigenvalue of a square matrix A, if and only if A minus lambda times the identity has a non-trivial null space. Um, we also learned that a square matrix has a non-trivial null space if and only if uh, the determinant of that matrix is zero. So we can combine these two uh, statements to come up with a method for computing eigenvalues of a matrix A. So we're, the idea is just to treat lambda as an unknown and look at the determinant of A minus lambda times the identity. Uh, when is that equal to zero? And so this equation, determinant a minus lambda times the identity equals zero, is called a characteristic equation. Right? So it's an equation that has this equal sign in it. We're going to solve the characteristic equation, for uh, solve for lambda to find the eigenvalues. The left side of this equation, this polynomial, determinant a minus lambda i, is called the characteristic polynomial. So let's take a look at an example and try to find the real eigenvalues of this matrix A, which is minus 4, minus 1, 6, 1. We compute A minus lambda times the identity, and this just subtracts off lambda from the main diagonal of the matrix. And then we compute determinant using the formula that we saw for 2 by 2 matrices. We multiply everything out, and so we get the characteristic polynomial lambda squared plus 3 lambda plus 2. In the characteristic equation, lambda squared plus 3 lambda plus 2 equals 0. We're going to solve this characteristic equation for lambda to see what the eigenvalues of A are. I can factor this quadratic and see that the eigenvalues, the roots of the characteristic polynomial, which give me the eigenvalues of the matrix, these are just minus 2 and minus 1. Now that we have the eigenvalues, if we wanted to go and find the eigenvectors, we would just take each of those values for lambda and find the null space of a minus lambda i. And so for 2 by 2, we can sometimes do that by inspection, or we can go back uh, all the way to the beginning and, and just do row reduction to solve. Let's take a look at a triangular example that's slightly larger. Suppose we want to find the eigenvalues of this 4 by 4 matrix A given by 5, 5, 0, 2, 0, 2, minus 3, 6, 0, 0, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 5. And so again, we're going to compute a minus lambda times the identity. This subtracts lambda from the uh, main diagonal of the matrix. We still get a triangular matrix out, notice. And so that means the determinant is going to be easy to compute. It's just the product of the diagonal uh, entries, the product of the entries that are on the main diagonal of this matrix. We get 5 minus lambda uh, shows up twice, a 2 minus lambda, and a 3 minus lambda. So notice I'm not going to multiply this out because the goal is to find out what the roots of this characteristic polynomial are, and so I'm going to leave it in factored form so that I can read off the roots. So we see the eigenvalues are 5, 2, and 3. And notice 5, um, 5 minus lambda term has this exponent of 2, and so we say that the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue 5 is 2. And likewise, the multiplicity of 2 is 1, and the multiplicity of 3 is 1. And so this, this trick that we just did, or that we just noticed, works in general for any triangular matrix. So if A is an n by n triangular matrix, then A minus lambda times the identity is also going to be triangular, because all this is going to do is subtract lambda from the main diagonal um, entries. And then the determinant of A minus lambda times the identity, since A minus lambda identity is triangular, the determinant of that matrix is just the product of the entries on the main diagonal. So if the matrix is upper triangular or lower triangular like this, when I subtract off lambda times the identity, it subtracts off the main diagonal. Computing the determinant, I just multiply all the entries on uh, the main diagonal. 
it gives me the characteristic polynomial, but already in factored form. And so I can read off that the eigenvalues are just the uh, entries on the diagonal, a1, a2, up to an.